Let's get right over to David and check out our forecast. Don't be fooled by all the sunshine. I know, yeah, we are going to see a lot of sun this morning. It will heat us up out there and make it pretty sticky too with the humidity being fairly high. But we are going to look at where these clouds starting to build up a little later on today. We will see those scattered thunderstorms popping up as the day goes on. But right now, not a bad morning. 81 degrees, 2.75. Yeah, it's pretty sweaty and gross out there right now. That humidity, welcome to summertime, right? It does feel like it's 87 with that humidity at 82% and light winds. North of Lake, a little bit better in Hammond, 77, 75 in Bogaloo. See Macomb even up to 72 now, but it's 80 there from Slidell. Gulf Point in the 80s, lakefront down along the coastline. So really, no matter where you are, pretty sticky weather out there. Dry weather north of Lake, metro area dry. You get a little to the south. We're starting to see a couple of showers popping back up, but not a ton of rain. Uh, Galliano, though, you probably think, wait a minute, Dave, it's pouring. What are you talking about? Yeah, thunderstorm over top of your neck of the woods right now. This is continuing to move off there, kind of the east northeast and kind of moving just north of Grand Isle, Port Fouchon, Basa Basa area as well. A few more showers. Show van back down toward Cocodree, so not a ton of rain, but we'll see more developing later. A couple things we're watching here. Big cluster of thunderstorms coming out of the northwest across Dallas. This is not going to directly impact us, but indirectly may send a little outflow our way. Plus, we have a little circulation here in the northwestern Gulf. Nothing tropical. This is a mid-level low pressure system. That's going to stay there throughout today and tomorrow, and that's helping to draw out more Gulf moisture and enough energy to spark off additional scattered storms today. Some could get strong, borderline severe. There's a level one risk for severe weather here, a marginal risk out there. The main threat, gusty winds. Can't rule out some water spouts today, too, like we've seen the last couple of days, but just be aware of that. And then on top of that, with it being so humid, you just know heavier rain is going to be in the forecast. Really, from this point all the way to October, it's rare that we'll see a lot of dry air like we had last week coming on in. So marginal risk for flooding potential out there today. It should say Tuesday on there, so we do be prepared for that. Now, we are looking at those temperatures warming up to the 90s, and then here come those storms. Lunchtime through the afternoon noon hours today. Temperatures kind of holding there into the mid 80s, the cooling down a little bit from that rain. And we'll get to about 90, 91 degrees on both sides of the lake, maybe a little hotter in Bogalusa, 93. May not see as much rain up there as the rest of us will today. Normally, we should be about 90 degrees, so we are going to be just a smidge above normal. Now, here's some of the rain here by 9 o'clock this morning, and as we go forward on in throughout the rest of the morning and afternoon, here come those storms starting around midday today, continuing through the afternoon. These will be potentially producing some heavy downpours. Now, as long as they're moving, we're fine. We can handle that. It's if they keep moving over the same area over and over again. That's when we could start seeing some issues, so we'll have to see how this plays out throughout the afternoon. Rain kind of tapers off by 7 o'clock tonight. Take a look tomorrow morning. Yeah, big different change compared to today. Looking at pretty good rain, heavy rain and downpours. This is Wednesday tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. So tomorrow morning commute, very wet weather expected out there. Most of the models agreeing that this is going to happen at least through this morning. And so we are going to continue to see that it does taper off to a few showers at lunchtime. And then as we head throughout the afternoon, more storms coming on in even by dinner time on Wednesday before they clear out. Thursday morning and then more scattered storms popping up Thursday afternoon. Rain totals eh, maybe one to three inches across the North Shore, maybe a little bit more in the South Shore, two to four inches here between now and Friday morning at 1 a.m. So over the next three days, so that will be hopefully spread out of that time and we should be OK. But check this out. This is the Saharan dust in Puerto Rico. Look at this. Uh, this is from a a uh, Ada Morazan there. You can see that's a normal look in Puerto Rico. This is what it looks like when the Saharan dust moves in. Poor air quality. So this is something we'll have to watch closely to see if how hazy we get, but this is potentially some of the haze we'll be dealing with as we get toward the end of the week and weekend. You can see right now there's San Juan, Puerto Rico. All that is headed toward the Texas area in our area late this week into the weekend, and it is going to be pretty dense. So that's something we'll have to watch for poor air quality out there but it will be dealing with some heat out there as well, too. So heavy rain threat continues through Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Highs in the lower 90s. There's the hazy weather from that uh, dust out there and little to no rain.